if you are i hope you are doing good in this lecture itself we are going to discuss about the introduction to the belt drive this particular topic comes under the me8651 design of transmission system in sixth semester mechanical engineering so before starting the lecture i would like to say what is power transmitting element so usually they are mechanical element which is used to, to transmit the power one place to another place so what all are the device which is used to, to transmit the power they are called as a power transmission drive so in this lecture we are mainly focused on the belt drive introduction to the belt drive so generally the power transmitting element classified into two different categories one is the flexible transmission system and another one is the rigid transmission system so we have only one major difference for both flexible and rigid so flexible power drives they are flexible in nature which means they are movable and rigid power transmission system they are in a fixed condition that is the only difference about for both flexible and rigid power transmitting system so uh, that particular belt drive comes under the flexible power transmission system which is used to, to transmit the power one place to another place so they need, they are mainly applicable for the large distance power transmitting system here we have a shaft the pulley is attached to the shaft and the particular belt drive circulator around the pulley so due to the friction between the belt surface and the pulley power transmitter from one place to another place so that is the basic concept about the belt drive and types of power drive so as i said they are generally classified into two different categories one is the flexible and another one is the direct drive so direct drive is also called as a rigid power transmitting device so belt chain rope power transmitting element falls under the flexible power transmitting element and gear drive cam drive comes under the direct drive so now we are starting about the belt drive so what is the belt drive so belt is the mechanical drive which is circulated around the pulleys and transmitting the power due to the friction between the belt and belt surface and the pulley here so the pulley is called as a loop of flexible material so the as i said the belt is applicable for the large distance power transmission so usually the why we are prefer the belt as a power power transmitting device because belt having the maximum shock absorbing capacity as well the vibration absorbing capacity that's that is the speciality of a belt drive and designing parameter so Uh, when we are when you are designing the particular belt drive we have to consider the, the five different parameters the first one material so what which is the material used to manufacturing the belt whether it's a leather rubber plastic or fabric and number of ply and thickness so number of layer which is occurred in a belt and thickness of a belt so that is the thing we have considered and maximum belt stress per unit width so what is the maximum capacity of a belt which is what is the maximum load capacity density of a belt material which means we have to find density by using the relation density is equal to mass per volume and coefficient of friction so power is transmitted because of friction between the belt and pulley surface so that we have to consider the density also and types of belt so the particular belt drive classified into four different categories one is the flat belt v belt ribbed belt and tooth or timing belt so these are the different classification of a flat belt drive so in this as per your syllabus we have a two different types only flat belt and v belt so the first one flat belt so when you look at the diagram so the both surface like a top surface and bottom surface have in the flat face so we have to remember if the belt surface are in a flat condition they are called as a flat belt and v belt so when i'm going to cut the belt so the cross sectional view of a belt in a v shape so that so if a cross sectional view having the v in shape they are called as a v belt so what is the difference between the both flat and v belt flat belt having the flat surface even in a cross section so when i look at the cross sectional view the belt is having the v shape they are called as a v belt so this is a systematic two dimensional view of a cross sectional v belt and so 
we have to consider so we have a one different uh, parameter influence here that is the wedge angle theta so to the both inclined surface exactly should be have a wedge angle as per the designing parameter that is the only speciality about the v belt drive and the ribbed belt so when i'm going to combine the both flat belt and v belt so that is the main, main thing so top surface having the flat in condition and bottom surface having the n number of v belt combined together it is called the ribbed belt so nothing but when you look at the ribbed belt the top surface of a belt in a flat surface and the bottom surface in a n number of v belt so when i'm going to combine the four flat belt and v belt they are called ribbed belt and timing or bull tooth belt is nothing but uh, almost similar to the previous one so both top surface having the flat end and the bottom surface having the curved in nature is not exactly in a v shape so they are looked in a uh, u shape that is called as a tooth or timing belt and types of flat belt drive so now we are going to discuss about the different types of flat belt drive the first one open belt drive so as we discussed so the belt is circulated around the pulley so it, it means there are there, there is friction created due to the uh, belt and the pulley so due to the friction power is transmitted that is the basic concept so what is the speciality of a open belt drive so we have a different pulleys one is a driving pulley another one is a driven pulley so the belt is circulated around the two pulleys so now they both pulleys are in parallel condition and both pulleys the driving pulley and driven pulley rotating in the same direction maybe a clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction if the both pulleys are parallel in condition and starts rotate in the same direction that is called open belt drive yes so the next one flat belt drive with the ideal pulley so i am going to influence the one more ideal pulley which means one more smaller pulley in between the driving pulley and driven pulley so what is the necessity of a ideal pulley which is used to achieve the desired friction or which is used to achieve the desired power transmission capacity that is the speciality of a ideal pulley here i mentioned one more letter c so the distance between the both pulleys are called as a center distance so it is denoted as a capital c and crossed or twisted belt so that is a another type of belt drive so here the both shaft are in a parallel condition but rotating in a opposite direction which means directly opposite to the open belt so both shaft are in parallel condition that is the same concept but the driving pulley and driven pulley are rotating in the opposite direction if the driving pulley rotating in a clockwise direction the driven drive, driven pulley rotating in the anti clockwise direction that is the crossed or twisted belt and quarter turn drive so here the pulleys are located in a some angle maybe a 45 degree 30 degree and rotating in a only one definite direction maybe a the pulleys are and arranged the pulleys are located in a some angle and rotating in a only one definite direction that is a quarter turn drive and the last one compound drive which means so more than may one pulleys rotating with respect to the one major pulley that is called as a compound drive so when you look at the diagram i have a four different pulleys a b c d so when you look at the diagram so a c d all those pulleys are called as a driven pulley and b is called as a driving pulley so why i said b is a driving pulley because the all the three a c d pulleys are rotated with respect to the pulley b if pulley b starts rotate simultaneously remaining three a uh, pulleys are rotated so the belt is circulated around all those pulleys so uh, obviously power is transmitted to one place to another place so that is that's all about the compound drive so i hope you all understood in this lecture itself we was discussed about the power transmitting element classification of power transmitting element different types of belt drive and different types of flat belt drive like open belt crossed belt twisted and compound drive I hope you all understood. Thank you.